What is this? A bracelet for ants? Nope, it's a paracord ring. <laughs> hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Hope you got that reference. Anyhow, uh, yeah, as you can see, we are doing a paracord ring today. So this is a great little project to use up some tiny scraps of paracord if you got some micro cord laying around. You can also use any other sort of thin cord for this. But uh, yeah, it turned out uh, very nicely and it's very comfortable to wear and um, love the way it looks too. As always, a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are uh, making a huge difference out there for me, and I always appreciate, appreciate your guys' support. Remember, if you want um, access to exclusive tutorials and the monthly giveaway, I'll feel free to check out my Patreon link in the video and down below. Also, if you're looking for where to get Paracord, feel free to check out those affiliate links down below, because you can support the channel that way too. Alright, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay guys, so to make this Paracord ring, it's fairly simple. If you've got some Paracord scraps, this is a great project for that. So I measured around my uh, ring finger on my right hand, and I measured it about to be about six and a half centimeters in diameter or so. And I've got a, just a scrap piece here, and my piece of paracord is just a little bit longer than that because I have to cut this end. So let's do that real quick. And also when you melt the paracord to join it, it's going to remove a bit of length as well so just be wary of that you may have to try this a couple times okay so we're going to melt both ends and then stick them together Okay, so that was done with relative ease, and as you can see, I used this, um, I guess it's like a, a chef's torch because I can use it hands-free. I can turn it on, set it down, and melt it. If you don't have one of these, you can just use a candle or something like that, so no big deal. All right, now we've got that done. Now we're going to take our micro cord and start tying around the ring. Um, you can also take your lighter later and shape this melted joint just to make sure it's not too rough so when it uh, comes in contact with your skin it's okay. So now we're just going to take our micro cord like so and we're just going to start tying uh, cobra knots around. Okay, so right goes over the paracord, this goes under. It's going to be a little hard to show because uh, cord is so small, but we're doing cobra knots, all right, okay, there we go, and then always lead with that same cord, I can show it to you easier this time, Put that over and under, like so, all right, so do that all the way around your ring and um, yeah, I'll show you the finished product again after that, all right? And I'm going to try to keep my cobra knots together as tight as possible. Okay, so I am just about done. I've tied the cobra knots all the way around my little band of paracord here and also you can see I even went over the melted part quite decently so you're not really gonna feel it or notice it when you're wearing it okay so I went all the way around now I just snip and singe and we'll be done All right, there it is, the paracord ring. Excellent little project for using up scrap pieces of paracord if you've got some microcord laying around. Even if you don't have a microcord, you can use the inner guts of the uh, paracord, whatever you have. And uh, I think this one turned out pretty well. And it is very comfortable. Um, I don't feel the melted end at all. And uh, yeah, it worked out great. 
So I hope you guys like this video and hope you'll try it out. If you uh, like this video, feel free to hit the like button. And also, uh, if you guys aren't subscribed, you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next video.